What's up guys, this is the Guitar Gent coming at you with a brand new reaction video and you already know what it is. Guys, it is Monday, which means that it's band made. It's Mad Mondays, of course. It's our series where on every single Monday we discover a new song from the band for the channel, of course. These are not all new songs. <laughs> it would be probably too much to ask these girls to release such a fantastic song every single week. Uh, even though I wouldn't be surprised given the, uh, let's say, the level of productivity and the amount of musical output that some of the bands uh, and the artists, the specific artists in this scene have been releasing, which is mind-blowing. Anyway, guys, uh, as you know, if you watched last week's reaction, the biggest request was Puzzle, but it wasn't anymore. <laughs> Basically, we have a lot of requests for Rinne, which I think was because, as I mentioned, I did uh, two ballads back to back. Uh, and m many, many, many of you, and thanks as always for all the comments, guys, in the comment sections, um, suggested me to listen to this one, Rinne, as kind of the opposite when it comes to uh, musical composition compared to the ballads. So I'm very curious. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily know which of the songs that I've been listening to so far from Bandmade is the, um, let's say, the, the most aggressive one. Maybe it was Warning, uh, which was the very first one that I listened from, from Bandmade, just because of the drum work uh, and some of the choices in the song. A bit more chaotic, let's say. But I'm extremely curious to see, guys, what they have in store for us with this one. Rin, Bandmade, probably Puzzle is going to happen next week with the double reaction to the... Uh, the studio version or at least the live version both the full band and the acoustic one maybe without the video in the video so it, you will just see me reacting to this you will hear the audio but without the video as always you know guys I try to stick to official material as much as possible and where that's not possible I try not to uh, include everything let's say and just so that in a way, I'm still respecting the artist's will, or the label's will. I don't know whose will it is, but <laughs> still, I try to keep that in mind as an artist myself. Anyway, guys, I've been talking way too much already. Let's go. Bandmate Rinne, official music video. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this is trash metal robot. Lovely effect on the vocals, guys. Vocal production, fantastic. Listen to that bass. Woo! Oh guys, I'm enjoying this. Woo! I keep on turning the volume up guys, that song is a good sign. <laughs> that lovely slide guitar. Oh. This is so chunky. Or 
so many points to talk about already, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> nice! Wow! Okay, so I guess that now we have a new heavy song from Bandmate <laughs> between the ones that I'm listening to so far, guys. This was so interesting, both on a songwriting point of view and on a production perspective. Now, I know that probably some of you guys will tell me that the live version of this is even better, and I, I do believe that, don't get me wrong, 100%. But it's nice, let's say that it's nice, first of all, I, as I said, I'm trying to stick to, I'm trying to stick into the official channel as much as possible with their official videos. Um, but it's also very interesting when it's well produced, a song like this, I can pick up on many more things on a, on a production standpoint. So maybe of course I can pick up a bit less on a performance um, point of view, because you see less on a video than on a live performance, of course, as it makes sense. But I do manage to see and to hear a lot more about the, the choices that they make on, on, in production. So, for example, when it comes to the vocal performance and vocal melody and the vocal production, as I pointed out during the reaction, there was this very interesting effect right off the bat on the vocals. So you had the main line, let's say what I'd assume she's singing on a live performance, that was lower in the mix, panned all the way to the sides, and it was almost like ethereal. It was like washed out. And then there was this overlaid, distorted vocal, like affected vocal, almost like a lo-fi effect on the vocals, um, which really helps pushing the pushing the melody on the mix because it's something that usually it's not covered. Let's say those are frequencies that are not usually covered by the human voice, uh, especially of course for a female singer. So that was a very interesting choice and very enjoyable. Uh, and I think that it really matched the vibe of the song right off the bat, as I said. It was almost like a trash metal riff. You have the galloping para 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 with the right end, uh, which is something that I don't think I'd seen yet in Bandmate that I remember of, and that it's always nice. I loved it. I loved it. It's like, you know, it's kind of the trademark of the speed, power, and trash metal from the 80s. Um, if you hear a riff that with that, like the, the sixth string, so the lower E string going up, that's kind of the trademark of that genre. Uh, then of course, as you'd expect with a bandmate song, they do open it up wonderfully and in a more melodic sense during the chorus and the pre-chorus. There was a lovely interplay in the vocals as well, uh, with the, of course the main vocals and the backing vocals, which worked fantastically well, I think. Uh, it was honestly very well done and very tasteful, so it wasn't too much of it, but it was the right amount, I think. Uh, the bass, the bass was so fat, <laughs> which is so nice in a song like this. Uh, it's kind of similar to what I was saying about um, Thunder Vengeance, the latest song that I listened to by Love Bites. Uh, when it comes to Love Bites, guys, small parenthesis, I'm going to record now a full, like, for their full EP that they just released, the mini album, uh, so stay tuned for that if you like Love Bites as well. Um, as I said in that reaction, there is a, when the bass is so fat, it really fills the mix. So the song is really chunky, it's very powerful, it sounds so good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, there was also that little break after the guitar solo, uh, as always. She's playing always such interesting bass lines. Even in the songs in which she's a bit more in the background, and that's not a lot in Bandmade. Bandmade, 
of all the bands uh, probably in the Japanese scene that I've listened to so far is one of the most constant when it comes to the presence of the bass and of everybody to be fair uh, there is a very nice balance always in every song between the rhythm guitar the lead guitar the vocals the drums and the bass so everybody has its opportunity to shine basically even within the same song which is beautiful especially as a musician it's something that i really do appreciate a lot uh, it kind of means and, and we've talked about this in the comment sections a lot guys uh, it kind of means that they you know they have a sense of the band f like the band comes first and then their own ego if you want to call it like that comes in a second place it's actually with band made from what i understand it's song band single performances which is beautiful it's the best let's say it's the best uh, ranking <laughs> for a band i think uh, possibly so it's wonderful to see that and it's also refreshing because that doesn't happen that much there are so many bands countless bands in which you maybe you have in every single song a guitar solo the last two minutes and maybe you hear the bass once every two records <laughs> it was very nice again i don't i'm not really sure uh, when this song was released but it's very nice to see miku um, working both on the rhythmic guitar and on the backing vocals very well there was a very interesting line that i think she was playing um, again nothing crazy on a technical um, standpoint on the guitar but it was a very interesting slide of Mm, pattern if you want to call it like that that was fairly constant in the second half of the song in the second verse i should say which was very interesting and it always adds some mm, you know an extra layer of dynamics to the song which is phenomenal and that's always that never lacks with bandmate really beautiful performance by miku absolutely uh, vocal performance and vocal melody was gorgeous by saiki as well i mean there is, I think, that now I'm starting to understand what's her kind of her, uh, her vocal trademark, in a way. It's this very rhythmic, uh, cadenced um, delivery. It, it has maybe some influences also from hip-hop and rap, of course. It's always very... like, it never feels out of place, but it's always very... not even fast, but it's always rhythmic, if you get what I mean. She's always, you know accent accenting uh, the right words at the right time so that it f really follows the the rhythm the rhythm of the song the drums and the bass and everything beautiful performance melody wise was absolutely catchy as always especially as i said when it opens up in the in the chorus uh, beautiful performance absolutely again for me probably if i had to pick one star of the song it would be misa on the bass just because again as i said so many interesting lines and that very nice uh section right after the guitar solo was so nice it fit the song so well uh guitar solos were uh, guitar solo i should say was fantastic as well playing off as always uh, along those pentatonic chromatic bluesy scales with also a very interesting descending pattern which i very curious to go back and listen to. At the end of the day, I think that Kanami is a very, uh, again, it's always this very efficient, tasteful and melodic style, um, which is something that resonates with me more than just pure technical skills. Uh, so it's always very nice to see. I didn't, let's say that at the first listen, which is kind of strange uh, compared to the usual, I didn't necessarily focus much on Akane's performance on the drums. Um, I don't know if that was just me picking up on different elements uh, just you know on the first listen or if it was you know maybe it's a bit lower in the mix or something like that of course it worked extremely well for the type of song that was the double bass uh, especially at the beginning that was going strong throughout the thing it's a bit more like warning I'd say from what I've seen so it's a bit more intense in the drumming but it's maybe a bit less original this is only for listen of course guys so maybe i go back and i listen to it and there are many and i'm sure that there are many choices that are actually more interested more interesting than what i thought they were uh, but yeah probably on those lower songs that we've been reacting to uh, lately 
you can see our creativity uh, shining a bit more through. But anyway, guys, this was a gorgeous song. Very, very beautiful composition-wise and style-wise, direction-wise, let's say. Uh, it's something that I really enjoy, as you know, I do enjoy heavier music as well. Uh, and it's always nice to see that they always manage to find this beautiful balance between even the more aggressive tones and the more melodic, uh, catchy, uplifting melodies in the chorus, which works so well. I want to thank you as always guys for tuning in and taking time of your day. I've been talking for a fair amount, the song was shorter, so maybe this isn't one of the longest videos. <laughs> but if you got it uh, this far, I hope that you found my insights uh, at least a bit interesting. Hopefully adding a bit of value to these songs that you already love. Guys, uh, for next week, it's fairly safe to assume that we're going to be listening to Puzzle together, as I mentioned. Let me know, of course, though, always in the uh, in the comments if there is one song that's blowing up when it comes to, you know, recommendations and suggestions and requests, things can change, as it happened. Like, we should have been listening to Puzzle today, but instead we ended up with Rin, and I'm happy. I don't know if I will enjoy Rin, uh, if I will enjoy Puzzle even more, but this was a fantastic song. Guys, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. If you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button, hopefully I'll see you very soon with the next one. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.